This is John Robert Bellon, a.k.a. the Fake Frenchman, where a pear-shaped body and man tits are a fashion statement. Just look at that face. All ready to take heavy losses and make more excuses to the people stupid enough to stake him. Here's John in another tournament. A five big blind stack is how he rolls. Now let's watch some of his tournament and cash game performances that better define John Robert. Rarely see this bluff, by the way. There's a reason why you took second in the one drop with all those superstars. It's not because you're getting hands. <coughs> <laughs> Mr. Klein. See, my theory is the reason why People like you are so successful is because you're really good decision makers and you really good instincts. And you're right that I was full of shit. And now you're punishing me for dancing around there with nothing. And now I have no choice but to fold. Couldn't have said it better myself. From 100% to 0%. You get an education <laughs> Queen three what a great play Klein. by Bill Klein, AJ. Mm. That's what you wanted. Oh, well, I knew I, knew, I, actually, I, knew I, I didn't want a queen. You wanted the worst hand. Oh, yeah, I do. I, I definitely wanted He's the worst hand. You got what you wanted. Okay. Well, Balad wanted the worst the hand. He's got it. Now Let's comes the hard ten. part, well, sucking out and doubling up. Banghart succumbed to Lay's aggression. Diamonds. Do this. Sean Rivera Balan with all his chips in the middle. The flop. King four trade. Dewey Lay still in good shape to knock Balond out. You know, Jean Robert is thinking, I am due to put a bad beat on somebody. <laughs> Turn card. Five of clubs. One more chance for Jean Robert. No. Good luck, man. Lay just one card away from making this a much quieter feature table. On, ten on the river. A ten and a ten only saves Jean Robert Balond. The river card now is a jack. Lay with ace high win. Sorry about the pocket jacks, Jeff. Jean Robert gone. Perhaps feigning a bit of hesitation there when, of course, he's calling with top pair in a straight draw. River puts a third spade on the board. And if there was a card to bluff if you were Jean Robert, this is the one. If Perkins had something like 9-8 of hearts, well, you put him to an awfully tough spot. You put him to an awfully tough spot with ace five. Wow. Mm. John Robert bets Bill's entire stack, 122 grand and change. I just don't know what Bill will do. I know that I like Robert's river bet, given that he arrived to the river having done what he did already. Oh, Robert, you just bullying me, or? His three bet pre, his flop and turn bet are all credible that he could have spades. Clearly, if he's three betting with king seven of clubs, he could be three betting with king seven of spades. And Bill only beats bluffs here. Great call. Oh, great great call, call from Perkins. Mm. Big double up. And by the way, Robert didn't miss. He, he had nothing to miss. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I mean, the spade got there. Right. So. That's what I get for trying to bluff Bill Perkins. <laughs> 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 oh, whoops. A little missed up there. That was awfully nice. All right, 10-9 against Balan's ace-queen. And there's an ace. Oh. Yes. John Robert loves the call now. Jimmy. Come on. No jacks, please. No jacks and no sevens. No jacks, no sevens, and I don't need any more pairs. No jacks, no sevens, and he doesn't need any more pairs. <laughs> Deuce ball. It's a six. That's the court I'm talking about. Not over about, yet, John sir. Robert. Did I tell you that you look very handsome today, so sir? John Robert, he could still hit a seven. A cope in with a straight draw. <laughs> Ballon thought it was over. <laughs> Almost, John Robert. John Robert, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, Copian thinks he's going to hit the four-outer. Don't do it to me like that. That would be ugly. Uh, Copian needs a seven for a straight to knock out Jean Robert. River. Oh! It's a seven! 
Ballon is gone. Thank goodness oh it wasn't Phil. Oh, God. He came back. The truth is there are not many hands that Robert beats here. Nice sized pot to end this session. There's the Perkins factor, that he's sort of capable of anything, but if you check raise a flop with any credible holding. Can you spread the pot for me a little bit, please? By the way, AJ, generally you see spread the pot when there's $265 and there are not 265,000. <laughs> Usually at these stakes, Robert, we keep track of what's in there and kind of reconstruct this math in our mind. Well, but, we, knew, uh, we knew it would get livelier once he sat down again. A little spread the pot. He just sort of knows he's beat. He just yeah. feels it, and logically he's beat, but it's just, it's annoying. It's he's annoying. He's got kings. It's an annoying feeling. When the president has you beat. Uh, you know, Robert, I'd advise you make a wise choice. Sorry, guys. Two black kings and... Uh... <laughs> uh, now, look at that hand again, Robert. Seems like I'm beat. It might be a red king. <laughs> I love Robert's instincts, and even though logically it seems like he's beat here, Bill check raise a flop. Bill could just Bill could have like Jack nine eight, eight, sevens. Eight, just he can have a lot of hands, a lot of hands that other players could not have. Wish I was good enough to fold this, Bill. <laughs> oh, notice he said that to try to get a read, though. AJ yeah. said that and then glared right at him. Absolutely. But he is good enough to fold it. Yeah, man, that's him. Lays it down. Very nice. I bought that on. I'm just kidding. In case you didn't hear that. He fires 40 grand into the pot. And after Al checks the flop, this, this bet really doesn't make that much sense because I think both Brandon and Jean Robert at least think that Al would have bet the flop had he had a flush draw, which he does indeed have. So... John Robert's going to be very hard-pressed to get away from aces and jacks here. I think he's very confident that he has the best hand right now, as well as I would be. Cool. Okay, big shove from Balan. And presto, we got a pot worth 366 grand. Two times? Uh, I go two. Two times? I'll go two. Whatever you want, Al. Good, I'll go two. I'll go twice two. is good. I said twice. 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 Really a cooler for Jean Robert. <laughs> JRB has four outs to fill up. Wasn't nope. such a tough call, I guess, Sal. So. No. Nope. Half the pot goes to DeCarlis. Oh. And Brandon would have ripped much? Broadway. That's neither here nor there. A nice pot, Big Al. Yeah, yeah Big Al doubles through Balond. Bob checks out. Balond could just shove here. Given that he has under 200K and, and Antonio just put in 44,000, but he make, he just calls, and that's a great call mm -hmm. by John Robert. Because he must think Antonio is genuinely weak if he thought Antonio strong. Oh my God. Whoa. Nice to run good. Antonio outflops the, the Rockets hitting two pair. Well, how do you beat this guy? He makes incredible reads. And when he doesn't, this happens. Unbelievable. And John Robert played his hand great. I mean, they're going to get all in now, 100%. He's betting 50,000 here. I'm all in. All in. Call. Snap call. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what happened before the flop? I four bet. I ran into Antonio. What do you think? Happened, happened, you happened want, before the flop. What in the this world, is, man? I didn't think he had it. <laughs> this is what brutal. In the world? How do you just get blessed with the two? Uh, it's been like that for 20 years. Uh, it's unreal. Uh, how about how I've been running forever? Okay, once or twice. I catch you way out of line. I do. I correctly just call you to let you bluff off your chips on the flop because I know you don't have jack. Listen, you but actually, me. you did have you jack. Trapped. He's right. I mean, what can I say? He's right. I got trapped for sure. There's Which no denying that. Which is what you that. had, jack. Now because we find I know ourselves you in a new call a re -raise. Now these guys haven't talked about how they're going to run this pot once or twice. Oh. Once or twice. Are we just doing once or twice? We didn't say. I mean, this is very rare. We're going twice, you guys. Do you want to do the river twice? What? Yeah, I guess so. Just do the river twice. Right, just now. Do the river twice. Wow. Robert. Oh boy. <laughs> Thank God we said something. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, it's unreal. <laughs> it's always perfection oh for whenever I do. <laughs> I, should have, I should have been so tilted, just let it run at once. You have aces? Who has aces? So who has Jackson fives? Kirk returning to see a very interesting <laughs> hand. He went one, once or twice. Uh, chop it up. <laughs> wow, they're going to yeah, chop it up. No, I had Jackson fives. I didn't believe him. Finland, I had it. The river is a seven, so there's the straight for Sean Deeb. Flush obviously would have been easier, but hits the gut shot for the straight. It's probably going to get him paid because Balan probably will not see the gut shot straight draw coming home there on the river. The other day, there's a picture of him dragging the mooses. He couldn't drag a moose by himself. No, I'll show you the picture. Not dragging, I, I mean, guess. they can weigh like 2,000 pounds. Oh, yeah, I mean, or more. you got a lot out of it, I mean. And JRB's betting. 2,200 the bet. On. That's a moose. On. I call. Straight. Hmm? Straight. Straight. Over $19,000 in that pod. What a river. And just like that, JRB was rolling, and now there goes the money. On the river, and no more spades. Okay. Looks like Doyle's thinking about betting here. He's got a green light. And there's $41,000. From Doyle. What a great bet that is. Mm. He clearly really has a great gauge of where he's at. He's got two tens, but this board has a flush possible. It's yeah. hard to get called by worse. But he knows Jean Robert, and he knows where he's at in this hand. That's what makes him one of the greatest players of all time. Absolutely. That's all I can beat is a bluff. <laughs> I don't think Robert will call here. But we know you're capable of bluffing. But he might. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, oh, almost. Oh, yeah, oh, I don't like the fold, Doyle. I don't like the fold. Two tens. What's that? Two tens. A fantastic bet by Doyle. Nice value, Doyle. Oh. Value town. Balan bet 30000 until he just called. I might have considered raising this turn if I was Tilly and hope Jean Robert has a hand like he has to start putting some chips in the pot. Four spades on the river. But I don't fault her smooth call either, her plan being to raise the river. And Jean Robert leads 35000 here. He's trying to get value from a king. Well, he's not giving her enough kings. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> he's not trying to get value from king king. <laughs> Tilly just raised to 80,000. John Robert is sitting there thinking, I have 10 7 offsuit. I called a raise, <laughs> and now this is happening. Maybe I should unbutton another button on my shirt. <laughs> Speaking of shot clocks, I think even Doyle would give him a little pass to think here. This is a tough spot. Tilly's capable of bluffing. Mm -hmm. She could have a hand like ace-jack of clubs, jack-queen of clubs. These are hands where she would have called the flop and then continued on the turn. Those are the hands she could have to bluff. Great lay down. Tilly pulls in a monster pot. And she was due. And there he is, folks. John Robert hemorrhaging out money like a fat ass sitting on a toilet with hemorrhoids.